So for all the videos I make, what really ends up continuing to be the most popular is the Polaroid tours. My first Polaroid video ever, and in fact my first video ever, was a tour of my Polaroid One Step Close-Up. On that video it ended up being my most popular one ever, and uh, most of my top viewed videos are all those Polaroid tours, and on a lot of them I get very similar questions. Where'd you get film for it? Where's the battery? Where should I buy this camera? Is this a good deal? So today I'm going to try to answer some of those, and that's going to start with a simple Google search for Polaroid. And for myself, since I'm based in the US, we're going to go to us.polaroid.com. Uh, the top one's an ad, but it's the same thing as below, so that's okay. So we're brought to a, a really nice web page here. It looks like they have uh, instant printers. This one's actually really cool. You can save your photos on your phone and then you place your phone up here, you scan it, and it prints it out. Now that's something that I think is actually really innovative here. But you can see they sell a variety of cameras. They have newer cameras that are based to look like the old ones. They have all this awesome looking from, from film. Um, maybe it looks like some merchandise and whatnot, so they're really doing their best to capitalize on the Polaroid name. So let's go ahead and just go to the cameras to start. So let's see, Polaroid Now, so it looks like that's their new branded one. It looks a lot like the camera that I have that looks like the Instagram camera. Um, I did a tour on that recently if you want to check that out. So let's just click Instant Cameras and see what we have. I'll see if I have any of these or that any look familiar. Um, let's see, not sure which camera is best for you, let us help. Maybe we can take a look at that later too. So I do remember this, they would always do, you know, a camera and a film combo or whatever else. Um, but I would say if you're really trying to get into Polaroid and you know that it's going to be supported a while and maybe you'll have a little more durability, maybe do one of these, the Polaroid One Step Plus. I think these are just their uh, newly designed cameras. Let's see, yeah, it definitely, uh, I don't think original Polaroids had Bluetooth and whatever else all on that 70s design. You know, but if you really want the true Polaroid, why not just go get a real one? You know, this it's it's cool. It looks like it has a lot of a lot better features, I'm sure. But this is really what you want in my opinion. So you see we have I have this camera. Um I've never had an SX70 before. Uh, they're definitely charging an arm and a leg for these. I'm sure it's going to talk about how they're refurbished or something. Um, let's see, yep, all a fully refurbished vintage Polaroid. Eh, so I paid $20 for mine. I don't, that this is just an extreme markup. To be honest, these type of cameras, they're really not that rare. You can go to about any thrift store or antique store and maybe even a Goodwill, people are a little better at finding them there, and find these type of cameras. So I would not recommend paying that unless you just can't find one anywhere else. Let's see, so we have the One Step 600, Polaroid 600 One Step Close-Up. Oh, I see, so it comes with uh, some film and stuff for $50 more for, I don't, I think they're maybe knocking off $10 there. I think the film is maybe $20 to $25 a, a case, and it's normally for uh, 10 photos. Let's see what else they have here. Uh, I've always wanted this one, the, uh, the Polaroid 600 Sun. Um, I think it's one of the cooler looking ones with kind of the gold hardware on the front there and just the nice old classic Polaroid logo. Yeah, they, they do have a good selection here. That's another, I did have this one at some point too, uh, this express green one. They have the MTV vintage one, $150, so I guess they're trying to show that these are more rare. It's definitely very cool looking. But again, you can find these cameras elsewhere, and these things are built to last. I, all the ones that I have, I'm not by any means a professional refurbisher. All I do is kind of clean it off with alcohol and whatnot, and that's stick the film in, and that's all you have to do. There's no reason to go into this website and pay this much money. I'm sure you could even find a better deal on eBay or your aunt or uncle's or your grandma's closet definitely in their closets. Ask old relatives. Everyone from the mid-70s, mid-60s on has these cameras just laying around and they definitely don't want them. I can guarantee that. The SX-70, 
I'm always I'm generally not as familiar with the SX70 as I am with the 600s because I mainly collect 600s. From what I understand, the SX70 has better film quality. That's why they're a little more expensive. I, I couldn't imagine spending $400 on a 50-year-old, 30-year-old, 40-year-old camera. But the uh, I guess that's just in the eye of the beholder if it's worth that. Uh, so I guess you can kind of click to see, okay, I want 600, and it'll show you all the 600. Uh, let's see how much the uh, instant lab, instant film is, I mean. So we have the iType. I think the iType is their new for their Bluetooth cameras, as we saw before. Here's generally what I would be buying. They've actually, surprisingly, I want to say this film has come down in price. I vaguely remember paying over $20 the last time I bought Polaroid film. I can definitely attest to say it does work with the old cameras, like the one step close up the uh, other one step the other 600 series cameras i have this film works perfectly in it it's made just like the old ones so you can get the color film let's see if it's still 10 shots let's see eight instant photos so it used to be 10 so i think they maybe lowered the price but make it have less photos um that's definitely pretty expensive that's over two dollars a photo so definitely make sure you don't mess up but it's still cool that they offer it and okay so it looks like they get cheaper as you buy more uh five for 15 that wouldn't be that bad i guess that'd be uh what, 125 dollars or so so maybe buy a three pack if you're just wanting to get started uh if you're just wanting to get started it's kind of worth the investment maybe just buy one you can make sure you know what you're doing, kind of learn the camera before you go and buy any of these specialized ones. You know, you saw the black and white, you have some of these colored frame editions, which are definitely really cool. Uh, I've never seen these duochrome ones before. I kind of want to see what sort of things people could do with these. Uh, it's, it's, that's definitely really cool. Um, very artsy. And they're just a little more expensive. Did these also come with the yep, eight instant photos? Maybe as maybe it has always been eight. I'm really not sure. If you really just want to mix it up a bit, buy three of these. It looks like it may come with a variety of different ones. Well, I guess it's just two color and one black and white. It doesn't seem like they're knocking off anything off the price for you, but if you just want to get a good variety, that's also an option. And then we can see the SX70 film. It looks like oh, sir, so actually, are they sold out of? color film for the SX70. That's really interesting. I guess that's maybe a little more rare. Maybe it's production issues. First film that slow develops. Okay, yep, so that's definitely known to give you more detail if, as we see here on the side. That, that is definitely kind of nice that they give you an explanation. Also works with the eye type, so I wonder if the eye type film could work with your one step a new generation shop color i'm sure it maybe gives it a little more quality but the awesome thing about polaroids is that vintage look kind of that not quite fuzzy but definitely just that nice vintage vibe so sx70 so eight so it's a little more expensive and then these eight by ten uh works with the eight by ten cameras i don't know if i saw them selling any eight by ten cameras let's see polaroid two six hundred yeah, so I'm unfamiliar with the 8x10 film as well. It doesn't look like they sell any of those cameras, but definitely very interesting. Uh, the Polaroid Lab, I think this is definitely really an innovative idea. So it's like turning your smartphone into a Polaroid camera. I'm not sure how big this is or how well it works exactly. But for about this price that they're charging is how much they're charging for one of the other vintage cameras. So if you just want to get started, something safe, you always have your phone with you, this could definitely be a cool option as well. Although I'm not really sure about the quality. Maybe one of these days I'll buy this and maybe do a quick review or something. Uh, uses 100% real chemistry to perform digital moments. I'm, sh I'm sure it works well. They make good film. Let's see any other accessories we have here. You have a camera bag, stands. So it's basically just them putting a bunch of Polaroid logos on everything. Lens sets, let's see, box film shield. Let's 
they have a lot of interesting things. I don't know if I'd pay uh, $115 for a Polaroid sweatshirt or $170 for a windbreaker. Even just photo albums. I'm not sure who's buying all of this stuff, but uh, apparently it's popular. You do see people wearing the Polaroid logo shirts around. Uh, accessories, collaborations. It looks like just different brands are selling fanny packs, duffel bags, backpacks. I guess that's their new logo from maybe some other company or something, or maybe a Hiroshi Fujiwara. I, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to get laughed at for not knowing what that is, but so be it. And digital, let's see, do they sell digital cameras? Okay, so you can see, so Polaroid sells, I guess, they're talking about pocket printers, uh, 4K TVs, a 3D printer. This is all just hardware that they're slapping the uh, Polaroid logo on. It doesn't mean it's any good or any bad. Uh, just like I don't know if I would necessarily buy Polaroid branded headphones or whatever this weird GoPro knockoff looking G-Shock thing is, uh, as well as a giant Polaroid scanner printer. This one is so... I guess heavy or commercialized that you have to email them to ask how much it is. So definitely really neat. This website's improved a lot since I have last used it a couple years ago. Um, so in the end, what do I recommend? I recommend you go out to your local thrift store, go down to that little old lady who has the shop on the corner, and just ask if they have any Polaroid cameras. You know they will somewhere. Polaroid cameras are in every thrift store I've ever gone to. It's to the point where I have so many that I, I'm starting to see some of the same ones and I kind of know what the prices should be. If you want something like a Polaroid one step close up, something similar to this, or maybe that uh, we saw the green one, at most pay 40 bucks. I got most of mine for around 20, but the prices are kind of fluctuating. Maybe with COVID and things, the prices will change a bit too. But definitely just enjoy the hobby. You don't have to go down to any of your Urban Vines type stores or any of that to get into Polaroid. Just make it simple. Keep it simple. Only come to this website to buy the film. Maybe if you just want the lab or some of the accessories, you really want to show off your love for Polaroid, you can do that. But this has been Codemic, Matt from Codemic. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our quick look at the new Polaroid website. If you have any Polaroid questions, feel free to ask me. I love talking about them. Definitely my favorite thing to collect. I collect a lot of things and um, I always have room for more cameras. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all real soon.